Welcome to the Growing in Love for Life podcast, where it's all about saving and strengthening your marriage and creating the relationship you really deserve and want to have. And now, from growinginloveforlife.com, relationship and marriage coach and best-selling author, your host, Liam Naden. This is episode 30 of the Growing in Love for Life podcast. Hi everybody, welcome back, it's good to be here and it's good to have you here. And here we are at episode 30. Now if you're struggling with your marriage, I think you're going to find the topic this week pretty interesting because it's something that I find comes up a lot in my dealings with people through my programs and coaching and even emails I get from people. I'm very often asked this question, am I responsible for making sure my marriage works out? You know, very often people are in the situation, and, and maybe you are, where they're, re- they're trying really hard to make their marriage work, or to save it from divorce or from some catastrophe, and their husband or wife isn't doing anything at all to help. In fact, they might even be resisting them. So they feel totally responsible for fixing things, for doing it all themselves. And they also feel that if things fall apart, then one of the main reasons was because of what they themselves did or didn't do. So what I want to talk about today in this podcast is to show you that there are some some things you're responsible for. Of course there are. But there are other things that you're not responsible for. And it's really important to know the difference. And if you really can get the distinction between the two of them clear you're going to have a much greater chance of actually saving your marriage and and turning it into the relationship you really want. Because what will end up happening is you'll end up doing more of the right things rather than wrong things, and things are going to start heading in the right direction rather than the wrong direction. So that's why I've called this podcast episode Are You Responsible for Your Marriage? And I want to start off by asking you the question, How responsible do you feel for saving your marriage? Do you actually feel that if your marriage is going to survive and give you the happiness that you want, that it depends on you? Now, you might be thinking when I ask you that question, you might be thinking, well, of course I don't want to feel totally responsible. I want my spouse to be responsible as well. But the truth is they're not taking any responsibility. They're not working on it. And I feel like I'm the only one doing the work. So what do you expect me to do? I mean, if I don't take responsibility, then things are just going to carry on the way they are, aren't they? And they're only going to get worse. So you might be thinking those thoughts. And you might have also heard me in one of the previous cod- podcasts where I've, I've talked about the importance of you doing everything you can to save your marriage. So maybe you're a bit confused here. On the one hand, I'm saying you need to do everything you can. You need to take responsibility. And on the other hand, I'm saying that it's not your, all your responsibility necessarily, necessarily. And that's, I guess, the key distinction. And that's what we're going to talk about in this podcast is what you're responsible for and what you're not responsible for. 